tired of like these, oh, take this taupe color, and then you're gonna take light taupe and put it up above, and then you're gonna take darker than the regular taupe and put it in the crease, and then you're gonna take taupe shimmer and put it on your eyelid. No, stop it. What do I need to conceal? I don't freaking know. And being the creative superstar that I am, um, I have a right to. <laughs> Man, don't question it. You wouldn't question a chef, would you? No, I didn't think so. You wouldn't question an art major, would you? No, so don't question me. Hey, I'm gonna get awesome lenses, Canon something, something, something. They seem to be very compact and they usually end up like out my um, inner corner. I don't like when things go ding. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you can hear me. So I was just like finding all of these gray hairs that I, I they popped up like a year and a half ago. I think I was like super stressed. And well, I can like find them all. Look, there's one. And and then there's a really long one. There's one right there. Oh, look, there's another one. There's like clusters of them. There's just everywhere. And you know what? I don't think I care. Look, that one's just sticking straight up. It's just, it's, it's just, it's a thing. It's fine. So today what I'm doing is I'm using, I'm going to do a full face using products that I either don't like, but not because I think that they're crap but because they just don't work for me and I just don't gravitate towards them because you'll notice all of these you probably never knew that I had because I, if you notice, I always seem to use the same kind of products and, you know, it's just a thing. You like what you like, so it's fine. I also have a little margarita. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because I have a little bar cabinet thing set up and it's awesome. So, I start out, I don't, I have a primer on. I haven't used a primer in a long time, so I'm just going to be using this. I actually like this and I recommend it as a primer if you like primer. If you don't like primer in your face, do you? And before I start, remember to leave a like down below. Um, subscribe if you're new here. Hi. I'm. If you want to know a little bit about me, what my channel is, I'm just a girl who loves to put color in her world. I love colorful makeup. I love just anything that's not like that neutral look that you see everywhere. And I've noticed people, at least on YouTube, are starting to get out of that a little and going more bold and I love that. Cause I've just, but like put, pick a color, pick turquoise, put it on your face. Why not? I'm tired of like these, oh, take this taupe color and then you're gonna take light taupe and put it up above and then you're gonna take darker than the regular taupe and put it in the crease and then you're gonna take taupe shimmer and put it on your eyelid. No, stop it. I'm here to stop it. So I did that. That feels good. And for foundation, which is weird because I like this brand, it's just I don't gravitate towards this. And I'm kind of hoping that by doing this and forcing myself to do all the products that I just don't gravitate towards. And remember, this doesn't mean that they're crap products. It's just they, they aren't the ones that I gravitate towards. And I'm hoping if I change my mind and I actually like it, I'm going to say it. So the first one that I bought thinking I would really like, because I like their um, the regular foundation, like in the tube, I use it all the time. So I would have thought I would like this. Let's see here. I use these all the time. This is my favorite one. But the stick form, I just, I didn't... It didn't have a lasting impression on me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me. Uh, what shade is this? 110. So it's the same shade I get in the liquid formula, but I just don't... I don't know why. Is it too light? And see, I don't like to completely write off brands. Because I've never been like that. I'm like, just because somebody else didn't like it doesn't mean that it's not going to work for you. So just, just try it. I put a lot of stuff on there. Basically matches though, you can kind of tell. So I'm just gonna be using it. And again, this doesn't mean that they're crap. It's just I don't 
tend to pick this up. But if I end up liking this, and I'm kind of hoping so because I've accumulated a lot of makeup and I want to start using it up. So I don't want to buy new makeup yet because I have a lot and it's wasteful. Like why am I doing this if I'm only going to use it once? So I'm going to give it a second try. So far, this feels really, really nice on my skin. It's... Ooh. Hey! Alright, I see ya. Um... Wow. Well, it's looking really pretty. It's actually covering a lot more than what I thought it would. Um... Interesting. I don't know why I don't use these more often then. <laughs> I'm so confused. Because I use the makeup for everyone all the time. Oh, I look sick. Hold on, hold on. Where to go? Here it is. Let me, let me do there. Yeah, because my cheeks are always red, so I'm always going to have that. What type of skin do I have? I think I'm like a combination because sometimes I have really dry skin but then I get like oily sometimes so I don't have any idea what kind of skin I have so if anybody out there knows how to check for sure well I'd be interested because I have no idea all right so first go I think that looks pretty good uh wait Maybe I see why I stopped using this. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of clingy. It's a little dry. See, I think, and two, I think this is like, supposed to be like matte. Shine free. See, maybe that's the thing is that I tend to like, um, what's that, what's that kind? Oh, I tend to like dewy foundations and the fit me I got in this is dewy and smooth I do have the matte formula too but it's just that stick one is just drier so I think that's why I just don't tend to gravitate towards that one it just makes it makes me a little dry but it's definitely like mattifying it's it's nice and it's affordable so hey if you like it do you be yourself and now for concealer, I don't always conceal. I don't think it's always necessary. So many people go so overboard with the concealer. But the one that I, I don't know why I stopped doing this one. So we're just gonna say this is full coverage concealer. Oh, I meant to do concealer first. That's how I always used to do it. But the Makeup Forever, and I love this brand, so I don't know why I don't gravitate towards it. But, well, probably because I don't, I don't like to use concealer all the time. I'm gonna use this one that I use like cut crease for. What do I need to conceal? I don't freaking know. I don't think everybody needs concealer. I just don't, I think it's overused. Especially because I see like such a young audience using it all the time. I saw somebody do this. I'm like, maybe? I don't know. I just don't think it's necessary. Sorry. Don't hate me. And I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I'm just gonna use my dry one. We're just gonna see. I don't especially like the younger ones on YouTube. And they're like caking on the foundation and the concealer but they have like flawless skin it's perfectly fine like if that makes you happy and it makes you feel confident well then do it it's just like sometimes like now that like I'm older and I can see like yeah I need a good concealer and you know stress and experience has shown on my face <laughs> but you know fine. So, is that good? And probably my camera and lighting on the video is going to pick up, like, it's going to look like I didn't even blend this out. 
It's so weird how this camera works. Like I say, once I get the funds, I'm going all in, man. I'm gonna get awesome lenses, Canon something, something, something. I don't know what it's called. Um, and you wanna know, and I know I tend to use it a lot, but the Makeup Forever Ultra HD sticks, the one thing I notice about it is that it doesn't seem to melt into the skin as nicely. It kind of unsettlingly just like sticks, like stays on the surface and I like it to kind of melt in. Whereas this feels like it is, it's becoming like one with my skin. And so I, I'm liking that actually. I like the way it looks and the way it feels right now. And I saw um, Jaclyn Hill, she was doing um, her, this stuff with her finger. And that's how I always used to do it. And like it would, it melts because the heat of your finger and everything like melts up and you're able to like melt it better. I used to do all of my makeup with my fingers. I never knew in high school that there were brushes or I don't even know if people were into the brush thing yet. It's like I say, makeup YouTube it wasn't really a thing yet. And so I would do all of my makeup with my fingers, even my eyeshadow. And I thought it looked really good. So there's something to be said there, it's just that because I have problems with my hands now, I try to figure out what's easiest now, and so fingers isn't always the easiest for me. But I'm glad that she does that, that made me happy. I'm like, hey, OG. She's OG, man. Wait, I make a good margarita. Man. Alright, now, where to go? I'm not gonna do powder on my face. I'm just not. I'm going to go right into the eyes first. And the one I picked for stuff that I just, I'm not a huge fan of, is this Vice palette by Urban Decay. And I think because of this palette, I decided I'm not a fan of Urban Decay. It doesn't seem to work very well for me, but the one thing I love about this is this gigantic mirror. That is nice. It's so nice. And it comes with all of these colors. They're pretty colors, but... They didn't seem to like be as pigmented as what I was wanting because I was coming like right off the Anastasia stuff. I'm like, oh, there's a difference. So this palette does not work for me. That's just me. I'm thinking, what could I do? We have blues and browns and silvers. Do you guys want color? Put some color in your room. <laughs> That'll be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna start like this. It's called the highlight. I'm gonna go between that and that. And then on the middle, I'll probably be doing like a dark blue. You're just gonna see my process. I'm gonna press that.
Hi. So I know this looks messy now, but then I'm gonna clean it up with concealer, and then I'm gonna add the bottom colors. Um, it's still not my favorite. And again, this is old now too, but when I first used it, it just, it doesn't behave uh, kind of like the Anastasia stuff, but they're not Anastasia, so that, that's fair. It's just, I oh, just ruined my pile of concealer. Whatever. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up and then kind of finish it off and do some more because I still want to do some more. just want to make sure that it's going to be hanging correctly because you are piling a lot of shadows onto each other and that's usually where problems can arise. And so I'll be right back. You're going to see, you're going to see, this is going to look, it's going to look better. I swear. Be right back. So I did the inner corner. It's looking like a space look. Um, so now I want to do my eyebrows. Well, first, no, we're gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. Now I'm gonna be using these Sigma ones. I have a purple, I have a white, and I have a pink. I do not like these that much, I can tell you. They're like all frayed and they came frayed like that. Do you see that? So I don't even know if I should. Oh look, and there's like nothing on it. Like it doesn't even come off. Okay, wait, let's just bear with me. Let's see what, God, there's nothing in there. I bought them and there's just like nothing in there. So let's try to, hello? Okay, so I've never even used these yet. Okay, so I can't use that one. You know what? I'm just gonna throw that out. Waste of money. Okay, next I have a white one. Should I use what? I honestly think these were used. Look, do you see that? Like, who can use that? And it's all crunchy. Look, there's not even... Yeah, well, I knew I didn't like them, but I didn't throw them out. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I have a pink one. Let's try the pink one. Okay, that one might work. Pink? Does that make sense here? I was really, really hoping that these would be awesome. Cause I really, really like Sigma. But I like them, I think, for their brushes. This is not. Hello? Yeah. They're like all dried up and you'd be like, well, when did you buy them? Okay, that is true. It was over a year ago, so they probably expired. But they were like this when I bought them, which is why I don't use them. I don't know. And I'm not saying that like, if you bought them, they'd be like this. But I either got a really, really bad batch. Because they came exactly like this. The tips were all frayed. I was like, that seems like it was used, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And then I tried to use them and there was like nothing in here. Like there's nothing. So these, not my favorite, and it's leaving little chunkies everywhere. 
I'm a little chunky. <laughs> Alright, well. Well, that's not the prettiest. Um, <laughs> for brows, I'm going to be using this marker thing. I've used it before on the outside of my uh, brows. It just, it doesn't seem to work like what I wanted it to work personally. Like how I wanted it to work. So you're just supposed to like draw the individual, you know, the little lashes. Or the, not lashes. But let's try this again. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna be trying to make the most out of this because I really want this to be nice. I'll be right back. Okay, um, that didn't turn out terribly. I can't say it did. Um, near, you know, you know. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna get mad. Now for lashes, I'm going to use the ones that I was just talking about. I love Ardell, but these little tiny ones are a little bit too compact, so I don't tend to use these. The double up, they're like, I want to like stretch them out and make them more fluffy. They just seem to be very compact and they usually end up like, ding, out my um, inner corner. I don't like when things go, ding. No. <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, for mascara, again. I know, I wanna give this another try. Oh, I look like a space cadet. Don't worry, with lashes it'll make sense. This is probably the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. I'm gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. I just don't, I tried it the first time and just the kind that I stick to, the voluminous, it just, it just works way better for me. It may work better for you. This may be your holy grail. And that's fine. This is the point to all of this. Whoa. I'm like a space vixen. So I'm just going to do... It, it's just too clunky. Like, with how this is made, you can't, like, roll it nicely. That's all. What does one and two mean? I don't know. Is there two different sides? One and two. Whatever. No idea. I'm just going to be applying mascara, and then I'm going to do my lashes off camera. Again, the Ardell Double Up. I love all the other Ardell, but these, not my favorite. So those are on, uh, you can already see this one, the inner corner is just not wanting to stick down and it looks funky. This one went on weird and if I pulled down the lash you could see what I mean and it's all wonky. It's just these do not work for me in my eye shape. They may be perfect for you and you'd be like, well maybe you're just doing it wrong. Shut up. No, it's just... Other ones work a lot better for me, but not every lash is perfect for every eye. These are just not mine. I really, really prefer, if I'm gonna go with Ardell, the, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Well, the Demi Wispies, those are like the best, and I have other ones, just these do not work for me. But it's fine, they don't have to work for everybody. Not everybody's gonna like everything, so, all right, so now for bronzer, I don't know why I don't use this more often, but I, it looks like the right kind of tone for me, but it's by Bobbi Brown. So I'm gonna see how this performs because I, I don't use this and I don't know why I don't. Like it doesn't, it just doesn't make sense that I don't, you know? Is that weird to understand that? Oh, I gotta wash my brushes, guys. Jesus Christmas. All right, so let's dip in. Let's see how this one performs. Why is my face so red? I am really warm, but I did just drink some tequila. That, <laughs> so I probably don't even need blush. Man, I just blush on my own. <sighs> okay, so I do it around here. Just try to make my forehead just look a little bit in proportion because I do have a wider forehead so it just helps you just put some 
bronzer contour up there. It just kind of minimizes it a little. Not that there's anything wrong with a big forehead, man. There's nothing wrong with it. I just like the way it looks. And there's nothing wrong with putting fake freckles on your face. I just don't... I think I'm going to try it once because I'm curious to see what all the hype is about. Oh, my face is so red. Oh, Lord. This is upsetting. Do I need blush? Okay, well, I really, really like this. I really like that. It seems to be, like, kind of the right tone for my skin. Huh. So why don't I use this more often? You know what? I think I'm gonna know. That's my opinion. Put more up here. No, 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 no. Start up there. Yeah. I like this. It's pretty. And then. Underneath. Now on the side. You don't have to contour your nose. Nobody has to contour their nose. I don't have to do anything, man. Oh, I'm so red. Guys, what happened? Oh, I'm, well, I'm wearing long sleeves. I just drank tequila. That makes for a red face, eh? Alright, so now. <laughs> for blush, you may see this packaging and you're like, um, you use that all the time. No. Yes, I use Milani, but usually I use this one. This is Luminoso. It's more of like a light peachy thing. I got another one a long time ago. This is 08 Coralina. It's just a little bit redder than I tend to go, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to go real light-handed with this one. I've only used it like once, and I was like, um... But it's really pretty. It's just on me. First of all, I don't need help in the blush area in general. Ooh. I mean, it's pretty, but I just, blush has never been my favorite part to anything because I have like natural red undertone. <gasps> you guys. Okay. Do you want to know what I'm considering? I'm thinking about it once like hair salons are open because I want to do this right. I'm considering, considering going like complete redhead. I was born with red hair, I'll have you know. And I actually had freckles. So I'm interested to see like red, red. Not just like orange, not like an orangey shade, more like an auburny shade. So I don't like orange. But I'm considering it, because I'm like, well, if I was born with red hair and freckles, maybe God was like, you were supposed to be red hair. And I just, like, came up with brown hair. I mean, developed into it. So I don't, I don't know. I'm considering it. What do you think? I don't know. I'm going to think about this. Now, um, for my waterline, it's just, I bought this for the waterline, but it doesn't seem to look any different. This is by Sephora, and it's that pretty color. So I'm just going to use it. I mean, it's pretty on the hand. You can see it. But it just doesn't seem to show up in the waterline as anything. So... Well, I see nothing. Unless, do I? Can you? I... I don't know. Uh. Well. I don't know if I noticed anything. Sorry. I'm just fixing up. I want this more like smoked out. I have a right to do that. I do this a lot, not a lot, but when I'm decorating cakes and I finish a cake and I put it on the table and then like I'll walk past it and see something like from a different angle that I want to fix. So I'll be like, hold on, 
I see something. And being the creative superstar that I am, um, I have a right to. <laughs> Man, don't question it. You wouldn't question a chef, would you? No, I didn't think so. You wouldn't question an art major, would you? No, so don't question me. Hey, how about it? All right, so near, near. For a highlight, I got this in one of my like highlighting trio bags. It's by Fenty Beauty. You would think I would love this, but it just didn't seem to be what I want. But it's called Starstruck. So let's just try. Wow, I'm hot. I mean, like warm. I mean. Hello. Feels really dry and unsatisfying to put on. Some people love stuff like this. Um, I have in the past, I have something kind of like this, but not by Fenty Beauty. It's, um, who's it by? I'm gonna find it because I prefer it to this. This isn't like, this isn't doing anything for me. I don't think. I want more. Gimme. Gimme. Come on. Oh wait, I see it. Blend, blend, blend. It looks good on the tip of the nose, though. Oh, now that looks. Hmm. It's just not my favorite, but it's fine. Now for the lips. I bought this thinking it'd be really cool. It's just I don't generally don't use it. I don't know why, but it's by Stila. In the shade Patina. It's just a liquid lipstick. I think I used it once. It's a really pretty shade. It's just. Oh. Uh, it smells incredible. So, why do I not use this? Oh, you know what it smells like? Any of you guys out there ever have an easy bake oven? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so, I have to say, I like the lips. I like that color. So that's by Stila. I think what happens when you have so much makeup and you, you it's just, I have drawers full of makeup. <sighs> it's what I always wanted. <laughs> I remember when I first like started like paying attention to makeup. I had like this little tiny like vanity like this wide. Well, I still have it. It's actually the one that I do my hair on now. I don't do my hair on it, but I do my hair at that table. And I would have like, like 15 products maybe total. And I was so proud. I remember I took a picture of it. Maybe I can find it. If I find it, I'm gonna try to input it here. Jamie. And I was so proud. I was like, oh my God, look at all the fun stuff I have. And I'm like becoming like a makeup person. like long long time ago and now well I have a five foot vanity and five drawers full of makeup and it's still not enough room <laughs> I need another drawer so I think that's the problem with doing that is that you have so much that you just use once like one time then you're like oh we'll have to use that so you don't tend to use up a product which is very sad so like I don't plan on buying any new makeup anytime soon and because I just wow that's pretty the way that it dried down huh I really like that so like I said this the point was not to say like, oh, these are all crab products. It's just these are products I don't tend to grab all the time. 
Um, I still, I don't really like this Urban Decay Vice palette, not entirely. Like, yes, it's pretty, and two, this is old. It's just, a lot of the colors were very patchy to me and not as pigmented. The, the teal was. So it was like, a couple were good, a couple were not. But it's just, I have, I, in my opinion, better palettes. So that's all, but it, it's not terrible. But for $60, man, what? But whatever. Now, I technically cheated by using Smoke Show to create like that shimmer and the line and all that because I love this. If you're gonna get like one palette, this is like $12. This, and for this shade alone, this shade alone, <laughs> it's so worth it. All, all the shades are beautiful and they're all good for something. Or blacks, grays. Um, so yeah, the eyeshadow palette, now this, yes, uh, I do like the Fit Me, maybe I'll be using that more again. I do like the Bobbi Brown uh, bronzing powder, that's really good. The Milani Baked Bush is good. Baked Bush? <laughs> Milani Baked Bush! It's good it's just it's a little red for my liking I just like corals and pinks better but that's just me um the eyelashes I do not like how they're sitting and I wish I could show you up close what happened here it's just they're all wonky because they don't fit my eye perfectly but if they fit yours that's fine so you can try them the Sigma these I think they're called line ace yeah all three of them when I got it I was so excited because I just wanted colored liners that's all I wanted these though something must have gone wrong because they arrived to me all frayed and I was like do I use it and I meant to contact them because I think it's a good policy to always give them a chance to respond to you and like maybe something went wrong like I, I don't think somebody like did this on purpose like well haha let's put out a crappy product you don't make money that way but it's just I was disappointed and I didn't reach out to them. I still buy their products, but not these. So if they could do better, I'm gonna throw that one out too. Um, that'd be great. I just think it was a fluke, but it is what it is. The Fenty Beauty, this highlighter stick, whatever. I mean, it's not, it's more subtle. Oh, except that looks kinda nice, but I put a lot. I just prefer using powders. A lot of people are all into that, um, but it, it's fine. Uh, what I wanted to show you, what I do like, NARS. This thing, I love this, and I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, if it's a highlighter, if it's a, what the frick, Luxor. But like this does something for me, and I love it. Oh, I love it. See, now I just like ruined it. But this one, probably because it's like a pinky color and it's got like a nice wide tip. I love it. And I always meant to buy more. Wait, let's go down there. Yes. <laughs> There's a highlight I like. But yeah, so I actually prefer this one. Luxor NARS. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, remember to leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I upload, or at least I try, fairly, like, a few times a week now. But that's mainly because of, you know, quarantine, which we're slowly coming out of. So once I go back to work, probably won't be uploading as much, but I'm going to try. I'm really, really trying for that because I like to. If I could do this every day for the rest of my life... I would do it. Gladly. But, um, I need more subscribers for that to happen. <laughs> so, um, share this with your friends and remember to follow me on Instagram. Not Snapchat. Snapchat sucks. It's evil. And don't, don't trust people that have Snapchat. <laughs> Just saying. Will you I mean, one day find out that your boyfriend of kind of a long time is talking to a 19 year old girl after you go to bed I mean maybe it could happen to you 
Just saying. That's there. And then when you, like, want proof of what exactly they're talking about, it's, like, so secret. And they're like, oh, well, it's Snapchat. It disappears. Can't prove anything. Hmm. No need for concern. No, no cause for alarm there. All right. So I'm going to go. And until next time, remember to be kind. Be kind. Put some color in your world. Hey, it's kind of pretty. And stay humble. Bye, guys.